Hi everyone, welcome to Bad Weather Barbecue. I'm Johnny and today we're cooking up one of our favourite sides here at Bad Weather Barbecue and that is smoked barbecue halloumi fries. Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This is the channel where we talk all things barbecue. And today we're going to be looking at one of our favourite sides, which is smoked barbecue halloumi fries. This is a really, really tasty dish to do and one that gives you lots of different flavours, but also lots of great textures as well. And it's certainly one that you can do to impress your family and friends. In terms of the process that we're going to be doing today, there are a couple of steps which I'll just quickly go through. Firstly, we're going to be cold smoking our halloumi fries. And that just involves using the Pro-Q cold smoke generator, which you've seen me use uh, in some of my cold smoking videos, such as my smoked salmon. And with the cold smoke generator, we're gonna be using two different types of wood dust today. And I've chosen apple and beech. And the reason for this is this will give us a really nice light smoky flavor, which will really complement this dish. Regular viewers will know that I do a lot of my cold smoking uh, in my cabinet smoker outside. But today I've chosen a slightly different path. What I want to do today is use one of the Weber kettles that I have. The reason for this is to show that you can smoke really in any barbecue. So I'm gonna show you what the setup will look like for that within the Weber kettle. We're gonna let these fries smoke for about three hours today and that'll really give us enough time to add a lovely smoky note to each of those fries. Once smoked, we are going to then coat these fries. We'll be doing two different coats and I'll go into the details later, but this will allow us to infuse yet more of those kind of classic barbecue flavors that we like. Once coated, we are going to chill them down a little bit further and then we're gonna drop them straight into our deep fat fryer. In terms of plating this dish up, what we'll be doing is pulling together a really nice harissa mayo. Uh, we'll be serving that with sort of sprinkles of bacon shards and some fresh chopped parsley. As ever, stick around to the end of the video and I'll give you my three top tips for making this cook a success. Right, let's get into the kitchen now where I've been warming up my wood dust in order to be able to get that into the cold smoker. Okay, so here we have our cold smoke generator and I've just warmed up some wood dust. So all we need to do is now start to get that into the smoker. Now, you just need to be careful with this. You don't you don't actually need too much. Um, this is one of these cases where less is more. And certainly, uh, in terms of how long this will last, um, an entire one of these would last about sort of 12 to 16 hours. We certainly don't need that amount. We're only going for three here. So actually, this kind of side here is all we're gonna actually need. Um, I won't be throwing out any excess of uh, this dust. I'll just be putting that in a bag and just keeping that mixed for next time. Okay, that looks about fine. So we'll get that outside. We'll pop our candle in it and we'll get that ready to smoke. So I've just lit the cold smoke generator now. Um, it's just a little candle that you use to light the wood dust. So it's best to give it, it does say about a minute in the actual instructions, but I like to leave it a little bit longer just to make sure it's uh, off and running. So here we have our halloumi and this is really straightforward. All we need to do is cut it into fries. So I just like to half it and then just start cutting my fries out of that. Right, so we're just about to take our halloumi fries out. Um, before I do though, quick tip is it's good to put them on a tray. Firstly, this is good just for lifting in and out of the barbecue. But secondly, um, the trays that you use do retain uh, the smoke themselves. So um, just a quick tip is try and just use the same one each time you're doing something like this. Don't keep using other ones, otherwise all your trays will just end up smoky. 
So it's just a case of putting on our fries, give them a good spacing so that the smoke can penetrate. Okay. And these are good to go outside. So that's our cold smoke generator now firing and it's ready to get our grates and our tray in with our halloumi fries. That's the fries now in. So we're gonna give them, like I say, about three hours and we'll come back and check on them in probably about an hour, hour and a half's time. In the meantime, let's head back inside now and we'll go and have a little look at what coatings we'll be using today. Okay, so coating one, this couldn't be any simpler. All we're gonna do is I've got five tablespoons of plain white flour here, put it in a tray, and I've got two tablespoons of uh, barbecue rub. So you can use anything you like. As you'll see on the screen at the moment, um, I'm using Porky from Angus and Oink. Uh, for those of you following me on social media, uh, you'll know that I got a delivery recently, so I've opted to use that. So it's just a case of then mixing it together. Now get ready for a super chefy top tip. For the second part of our coating, we're simply going to be using panko breadcrumbs. The combination of the egg wash, the flour, then the egg wash and the panko really, really give it a really crispy texture. So that's fantastic for these fries and it's definitely something I would recommend. We're actually at the two hour mark now and it's time just to have a little look at our halloumi fries and see how they're getting on. So as you'll be able to see on the screen, things are coming along really nicely. You'll see that there's a slight yellowing to the uh, edge of the halloumi and that's the uh, smoke uh, binding with the cheese. So that's really, really good. And hopefully, as you can see from the bottom, um, we've got just enough uh, wood dust for another hour. So we'll leave them another hour and then that'll be our three and we'll be ready to get these coated. So that's us at the three hour mark now. And what you'll see on screen is me taking them uh, out of the kettle. Um, I'll try and show you here. Um, they have they have yellowed up, so I'll try and give you a close up. And the bottom bit's actually where the sort of smoke has run right under the fries. Uh, that's obviously yellowed up a little bit more. So um, I wish you could smell these. They smell amazing. So now it's the fun part uh, where we get to do some egg washing and some coating. Couple of tips for this. Wear gloves. Uh, always handy with, with this stuff. Second is try and keep your hands separate. So just have one for your wet mixture and then one for your dry. We're gonna be shaking these quite a bit, so we won't need so to touch the, the dry stuff so much. Just always a good tip to bear in mind. So let's do a first one. Okay, first bit done. Back in the egg wash, like so, and then into the panko. And just be really generous with your amounts of panko there. So there is our first halloumi fry. Right through the miracle of time, you will now see that I have completed all of our halloumi fries. So really, really happy with them. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to chill these down just for about half an hour. You don't have to do this. It's really up to you. Uh, I just find that it just sort of helps everything tighten up just a little bit. But uh, again, if you're pressed for time, just get them straight in the fryer. In terms of the fryer that I'll be using today, uh, I'm going to use my old trusty faithful t -Fal deep fat fryer. In terms of temperature, you don't want it scorching. You probably just want it about 160, 170, something like that. So that's our oil now up to temp. Um, so I guess just a quick safety tip whenever you're using a deep fat fryer, obviously be very, very careful not to burn yourself. Um, as a sort of seasoned fryer of having worked in a chippy uh, up here in Scotland, uh, burnt myself many, many times. It's not fun. 
Um, so just please, please be as careful as you can. So in terms of the oil that I'm using here, I'm just using plain vegetable oil. Um, vegetable or sunflower work equally fine. And it really is just a case of just very carefully just dropping your fries in. Now, depending on what type of fryer you are using, um, you'll have to do these in batches like I am. So I'm just going to do probably three or four at a time. Like so. In terms of these being ready, what you will start to see is that they will start to float. And what we're going for is some really lovely kind of golden brown panko bread comes on the outside. So I think this is probably going to be about three to four minutes. Our fries are floating and as you will see, I think we've got some really, really nice color on that. So I'm going to call this first batch done. So that's the last of our uh, lovely smoked barbecue halloumi fries fried now. So let's come and have a quick look. Now, as you can see, these have come out really, really well. Lovely crispy brown that I was looking for. And as you can see, um, I've actually put on the halloumi mayo and I've added some cornichons and a little bit of chopped parsley as well. So time for my favorite bit of the segment uh, when I get to taste one of these. Lovely smoky flavor off them. I'm really, really pleased with that. And actually the the porky rub as well comes through really, really well. That is meant to be used on um, chicken and uh, pork, but I tell you what, it works really, really well in this. And again, you know, good differing kind of textures in there. So the softness of the cheese, which is cooked just fine, plus then the crispiness uh, from the both coatings, um, that we've put on this and then that lovely kind of creaminess from the harissa mayo so i'd say these are a big big win so there you have my smoked barbecue halloumi fries in all their glory and let me tell you these will be an absolute showstopper for any of your family and friends that are coming over for your barbecue earlier in the video i said to stick around to the end and i'll give you my three top tips for making this cook an absolute success. So here we go. Number one, adding that additional smoke uh, really, really, really sets this one apart. So I know a lot of my recipes and barbecue in general takes a little bit more time to do, but trust me, it's absolutely worth the wait. Number two, definitely, definitely, definitely use the double coating method that I showed you in this video. The extra crispy textures that you get from adding that panko uh, on the second coat is, is really, really great and uh, definitely one that I would highly recommend. And number three, as we know, variety is the spice of life and I would absolutely encourage you to try whatever barbecue rub you like with your halloumi fries. As I said, I used Angus and Oink's Porky in this one. You use whatever you like. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video today. I certainly enjoyed making this one. So you look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next video.